Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that. The account now at $95,000 in the public account. We're banging on $100,000 in the public portfolio. Okay, year to date, it's pretty much in line with what's going on. Last six months, we're up $22,000. Uh, year to date, we're up $36,000. And in the last video, we talked about how smart money is doubling down on Chinese-based stocks like Alibaba. And now we see them up 7% on the day. Okay, absolute little spike. And Baidu is up 7% also. However, in this video, what we're going to talk about is one of your guys' favorite topics, which is dividend investing in the best dividend stocks to be buying and having your eye on right now. So before we jump in the video, just slap a thumbs up on this video, share it with a friend because you know it's going to be an absolute banger and let's dive right into it. First stock we're going to be talking about dividend stock is Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. In the past three months, they're fairly flat, but remember, Verizon stock doesn't move a whole lot, so it's, they're not as volatile as some of these other stocks, which is another reason why it's making a good pick for a dividend stock. In the last year, it's also up 12%. So if you bought this 12 months ago when I was making videos when this was closer to $30 per share, you're up not only 20%, 12 to 20% on your position, but if we scroll down, we can look that this is a 6.3% dividend yield on this stock. Verizon's only at an 18 price to earning ratio. If we scroll down, we can see that, yes, this is a profitable company with an EPS around $1.17 per um, share. But there are some other things that we're going to be looking in at Verizon, some red flags, so some risks, I should say. Now, the market cap, $178 billion, so it's a very large stock. Um, last five years, they're down 30%. Okay, so this was a good buy the dip opportunity um, anywhere in 2022, 2023. Good place to be buying Verizon, in my opinion, is under $40 per share. So if you could get under $40 per share, that's ideal. But the most ideal place to be buying is closer to $30 per share. There's definitely a possibility it will go under $40 per share and closer to $30 per share once again. So I don't really load my bags until I see those price points on Verizon. We can see that they last time they were around $30 per share was 2010, which was an extremely long time ago. And then they just went on a 10-year rally with about 120% gain. So can the same thing happen in the future? It is a possibility, especially with that PE ratio being so low and that dividend yield being so high at the same time, even if the yearly percent change is 10% year over year. Um, with that 6% dividend, gets you closer to a 16% yield. And if we take a quick peek at the income statement and the balance sheet on Verizon, we can see in the last five years, it's been pretty stable around that 19 to 20 billion on the net income we're looking at. And we have pulled up a year over year chart. Um, however, in 2023, it saw a little bit of a dip, 12 billion, 44% dip on net income, which is huge. Obviously, the stock is obviously went down at that time. So that's kind of justifying the drop in the stock price. If we pull up a quarterly net income graph, we can see that they're a little bit back on pace. They did have that bad quarter in 2023 Q2 where they lost 2.5 billion, but they got back on track with those $4.7 billion quarters, which we need to see consistently every single quarter for four quarters in a, in a row to see the net income jump by like 100%. So that'll be a very bullish thing for the stock if they continue quarter over quarter per quarter to put around $5 billion in net income out. Total revenue has been extremely consistent on a quarterly chart. Let's pull up the yearly chart. Look how consistent it is on a yearly chart also. Ideally, you want to see um, at least a gain in the last five years, you know, 2019, it was closer to 131 billion on the total revenue and 2023, it's like pretty much the same, you know? So ideally you want to see at least 150, 170, um, billion in the total revenue in a five-year growth, um, from 130 billion in 2019, ideally speaking. So, you know, that's why wall street isn't as excited about this stock, um, but they are consistent, which is a good thing. If we go down to the balance sheet, 
little bit concerning because the debt to asset ratio is 75%, implying that they just keep racking up those liabilities. But nothing has really changed. You know, they've kind of always had this kind of balance sheet. Even in 2015, it was closer to 92% uh, assets to liabilities. So they have got that under control a little bit. But ideally, we'd want to see that under 50%. And if we take a quick peek at what the analysts have to say about Verizon stock, it's currently sitting at $42 per share. They think it has possibility to go as high as $47 per share in the next 12 months, implying around an 11% upside Remember, plus the 6% dividend yield on top of that. So that's what's nice about having a juicy dividend stock and also a stock that's going to be appreciating over the years. And if you're able to buy a dip on a great dividend stock, that's even more po powerful for your long-term portfolio dividend account. And the next dividend stock that we're going to be talking about is not a stock at all. It's an ETF, ticker symbol SCHD, Charles Schwab, U.S. Dividend E equity ETF. If we take a quick look, we can see that in the last three months, it's pretty much flat. Year to date, it's up 13%, which is a good annual return, 18% in the past year. And compared to the S&P 500, which is up closer to 30%, nearly double what this one is. Dividend stocks are looked at as a little bit more safe, less volatile, and you know they're just going to pay that healthy dividend. So don't expect so much gain per year. You know, you're not going to be beating the market typically with a dividend stock. Um, so you probably won't be beating S&P 500. But some people just like that dividend coming in. So as we scroll down, we can see that that dividend is closer to 3.5%, which is really nice because that's what most um, high yield saving, savings accounts pay around 3.5%, right? But on top of that, you're also getting that equity bump of 18% in the last 12 months by investing in this ETF. So that's the power of ETF, the stock market dividend investing over just like a high yield savings account. Yes, you're getting that 3.5% yield, but you're also getting that increase on your money. Now, in my personal opinion, it's more important to worry about that equity increase. So that's why I personally like the S&P 500 um, ETFs a lot better than Charles, uh, this one, for example, the Schwab US Dividend, SCHD. But I do still invest a little bit into this ETF, okay? It's not like I just completely throw it away just because I like the S&P 500 better. So depends on what kind of investor you are. Dividend investors will love this ETF. It's a cornerstone of a lot of dividend portfolios. It's up 50% in the past five years. And it looks like it goes all the way back to 2011. And that's just been gaining every single year since then. So it's been extremely consistent. Obviously, COVID-19 was the one bump in the road. So you can't really count that. Uh, there was also a little bit of a bump in the road right here. It was down around 17%. So it looks like 15 to 17% are like the biggest falls um, that year that this ETF will experience and then it'll typically always go up from there. So very safe. It is a safety net um, stock ETF. Don't really have to wear, worry about it. Also, you can see where it really differs from the S&P 500 as well. Um, not a lot of technology. It's only 10% technology. It's more focused on financial services at 20%, healthcare at 14%, uh, consumer defense at 13%, energy 12%, consumer cyclical 11%, industrials, so on and so forth. The top 10 holdings, as you can see here, some great companies like Cisco, Home Depot, BlackRock, Chevron, Verizon, Texas Instruments, UPS, Pfizer. PE ratio is an average of 17, which is under uh, the S&P 500. And I have two more dividend stocks that I'm going to be talking about in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of the other dividend stocks that I'm going to be talking about. If you love dividend investing, then you're in the right place. And to subscribe on YouTube, it's completely free. So make sure you're subscribed on YouTube. Hit that thumbs up. And if you want to join my private trading group where you get access to all my trades and a private trading community where you can interact with top traders, click on that success number 11. Read through some of these positive testimonials that have been going on recently. Over 1,500 success stories on the highlight section. Here you could read through all the positive testimonials. Over 1,500 of them on the highlight section of my Instagram. 
3,500 students. So if you click on this link here, you can actually be directed to my option trading discord. So click on that to get help option trading my exact signals, when to enter, what stocks to be looking at, when to sell, and ask as many questions as you'd like. There's also an option trading uh, video program in there step-by-step -step to help beginners as well. So it's all there for you. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.